Hello everybody, this is Jason with ifeeltech.com. Today we're going to be setting up Outlook 2010 with our Outlook.com, Hotmail, Windows Live Mail, MSN Mail, all of those Windows uh, or Microsoft services uh, for email. We're going to set those up in an email client. I'm using Outlook 2010, however the settings are the same across the board for Thunderbird um, and any other email client you may have they're just going to be in a different spot. So for Outlook 2010, go to File, and then under Info, go to your Account Settings, and click Account Settings again. And we're going to create a new account, and this is an email account. Um, and actually, don't bother with this right now. Just click this Manually Configure Server Settings or Additional Server Types. Click next. It is internet email. Click next. Now we can fill this out. There we go. And then you're going to want to make sure to change POP3 to IMAP. And the incoming server is imap-mail.outlook.com. And the other one, as you might guess, is smtp-mail.outlook.com. And our username is our full email address. And the password is your password. And then uh, we can't go to next yet. We have to go to more settings and advanced. And you're going to change the incoming server port to 993 and change the encryption type to SSL. And you're going to go and change the outgoing server uh, port to 587. And change that to TLS. Uh, okay, it reverted back to 25. That's fine. 587. It's on TL TLS. Good. And then our outgoing server, you're going to want to make sure to click this My Outgoing Server. SMTP requires authentication. Click OK. And um, one more setting on this page. We're going to want to click this require log on using secure password authentication. Um, now we can go ahead and click next and let it test our incoming and outgoing uh, messages or settings rather. So the first one passed, second one is in progress, and we're good to go. We can just close this message. And we're done. There we go. There is our inbox. And um, I, I only have a few messages in here. They're all from Microsoft. Uh, but uh, that's, that's how it works. So if you have any questions regarding that please feel free to visit our website one quick note about um, Apple Mail um, the process is very similar um, however you're gonna just want to double check that you have um, IMAP instead of pop because uh, Apple Mail will choose pop by default um, but essentially the same thing applies for each of the uh, the settings you're going to want to put in your your name, your email address, your password, and then on your incoming uh, mail server, same thing. Um, it's just changing it to imap-mail.outlook.com. Username and password; those are the same across the board. Again, outgoing smtp-mail.outlook.com. Um, and really, it's um, it's a very very similar process. The the all the information is the same. It's just in a slightly different spot. If you need more information regarding how to get your Apple Mail set up um, or Mac Mail rather, you can visit our website, and we'll have a link to this article that you can go to and get that set up. All right, this is going to do this for our training session here. If you have any other questions, feel free to visit our website at ifeeltech.com. Until then, this is Jason.